Let's talk uh, football now. What the FIFA Women's World Cup? Yes. Okay, that's where we're starting from. The Super Falcons of Nigeria will be up against France tonight, 8 p.m. precisely in Nigerian time. And it's going to be a huge huddle. I mean, everyone has been talking about it, especially when you remember uh, Coach Donabe's baptism when he just came on. I mean, played a friendly against France, and we all know the scoreline. I don't have to repeat it. You but repeat then, then you have, no. And then, then you have. And an 8 nil. Whatever. In favor of France. Yeah. They have the group games uh, for today. Korea Republic and Norway. Korea, of course, we know they're already out. Uh, Norway will try to get something out They'll of there to get there. six points and all. Yeah. But we should be thinking if Korea can actually no, beat Norway, no, it'd no. be a nice one for Nigeria no. anyway. Uh, France, Nigeria, are we are thinking, okay, let's just play a good game and get whatever <laughs> possible best result we can. Whatever kind of result it is, mm. we really don't care. China and Spain will to be in action. Of course, Spain to through South Africa and South Germany. Africa. Now, what a day for African countries. I mean, we are playing host nation France, and of course, South Africa playing Oof. Germany, three times champions. Top, top matchups. Okay, top top matchups. matchups. Let's, let's start with Nigeria, of course. That's okay. where. Why don't we save that for the last? No, <laughs> let's, start with, like, let's get out of the way. The earlier, the better. <laughs> this, this, big, big match this, this, uh, tonight, 8 p.m. Uh, against uh, France. Um, what are you expecting in this one? The coach has come out expecting? to say. I'm going to keep it strictly to the question you asked. All right. Me. What <laughs> am I expecting? I'm expecting good football. I'm hoping that the girls will come out to play. I'm praying that um, the coach will pick a team that is tight and compact. You know, we should not try to play uh, France the way we played Norway. Mm. Try to play uh, open. Free, open. No, no, you need to lock up at the back and at least play. You know, a very tight midfield. That is also going to be functional, mm. trying to link up with um, the forward players and all of that. But having said that, we know that uh, France are arguably one of the best in the... women's football teams in the world. Right. We're playing one of the best. We um, sadly played a friendly game with them mm. a few months ago. Mm. and um, Last year, yeah. Yes, we, we should have learned a, a thing or two from should that have. game, yeah. you know. But I always say something about friendly games. It could go anywhere you get. Now there's something at stake for us. Mm. They don't have anything at stake at the moment, mm. you know. So, but I know that the French will want to continue winning. Of course, yeah, they've done two on the In bounce. Row, yeah. We've lost one. We've won one. And my initial prediction for this tournament for Nigeria mm. was one draw, one loss, and one victory. Mm. We have lost. Didn't get the draw against Norway. You know, mm -hmm. we have lost. We have drawn. Okay, so it's, sorry, we have lost and we have won. Yeah. So. Still an opportunity it, it, for it's, that. It's draw, the draw right? somewhere on the table, <laughs> <laughs> you know. That's a, that's a very optimistic way of looking at things. Mm. But if we go by statistics, we go by numbers and everything. France yeah, are better than us. That's yeah. the truth. We must face the fact. True. And they might just um, have our heads for dinner tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. You have I, to go I, there. I, yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah. but I am still optimistic that the girls will come out to play. And if they do, who says that we can? It's football. It's 90 minutes. Mm. And a few seconds. Yeah. Who says that we cannot do the impossible? You know? Impossible I'm, is I'm glad that, you know, he's been able to rejig the team a bit, you know. Let's put sentiments aside. Build your best eleven mm. and bring in the subs as at when due. Mm. And it worked against Korea. Yes, it did. Mm. Okay, we'll see right. how this will pan out. But the coach, uh, Thomas Zenabi, and also Francisco Odega, they've been talking about this game and the coach wants the best possible results from this match. Tonight. Definitely, that's a lot that happened since that time. So, yeah, I can promise you that we will at least fight so much harder and be better organized today than we were that game. So, hopefully, we also can uh, give them a, a really tough game and uh, have a point uh, when we leave the, the stadium. Giving someone hope and opportunity in the future and believing in herself to be where I am today so that. It's a kind of something I always cherish. And if I, even I, if I didn't get anything else, that is enough for me to, even if I decide to quit today, that is one thing I know that I've achieved and I'm really, really happy and glad about. Okay, that's the way it goes. So we'll wait and see what's going to happen at so, tonight. Franny, Franny was looking too serious for me. Because uh, <laughs> everyone has been talking Franny about it. more of a, you know, yeah, lively, so lucky, lively <laughs> babe now. Yeah, Come but, on, Franny, give us a smile. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> that's a presser right there. You have the whole <laughs> watching and everything. So she needs. I no, think it's a question I was asked. The question I, know, I was asked was about I know, you know, I if know. you feel whatever happens, outcome of these results. To be honest with you so guys, since 2011, we've not been able to win a game 
at the Women's World Cup. Well, you know, so we finally did it against mm. Korea. So uh, look, they, they've achieved a lot already. Yeah. But let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah. When are we going to take sports serious in Nigeria to the point where to the point where we don't go to this tournament with calculators? Mm. You know, I marvel at how the U.S. team has evolved. The women's team has become a scary entity. You get. I think about France. U.S. is big. I mean, U.S. started it all. France, U.S. They've been Germany, in it for a while. Yeah, all that. Just there, look at England. England. I remember the first time England came. Do you know why? Well, you know why I pointed out the U.S. Because look at what the men are doing in America, mm. with all the MLS and everything. You know, they're still struggling at the global stage. But you see, they're women. <laughs> When you see them, look at Kali Lloyd. Kali Lloyd's goal is even more than the, if you combine the US and Snapchat. Let's not go there. You know, <laughs> five goals in one match. You know, Yesterday, she was going to get, she was going to get as I mean, Look at Christine, Canada against Cameroon. For instance, Cameroon. Christine, how many goals she has scored? About 100 and something is more but, than the whole national team of Canada. The men. But, so, but I mean, obviously, Shola, Nigeria is still a long way from those countries. Yes. So. And that's We're the point. perpetual African champions. Mm. You get, we always win on the continent even when we don't play because, for a whole year yeah, mm -hmm. we still go to to the alcon and win when are we going to replicate that at the global stage and we need to come back home and look at what we're doing wrong mm. there's the foundation is not right there's something there's wrong no foundation at all i oh, think there's the no girls foundation. it's all about grit i mean I, i'm like it, really it's all about grit because if you check when i to show like when she told me her story how she started she was playing at a school st thomas or something you know around the mushi and all that around yeah, this area that's, that's why she keeps going I mean, back play, there Playing with boys, I mean, that's how she started. So there was really no academy or anything. We don't have that. Yeah, so people are trying to come up with some, but where's the support system coming from? Yeah. South Africa is trying mm. to start a league, and what the ministry had to do was to cover big money for them to start. They don't have it here. This is June. We've not started the league for this season. And you have some, I mean, the goalkeeper, you... I mean, the 18-year-old girl, she's actually a backup keeper with Rivers Angels. I mean, Tocho Okoloi, our number one goalkeeper, she's with Rivers Angels, she's not foreign based. Chidema KK, FC Robo, she hasn't played a game this year. Yeah. So these girls will go to the World Cup. They can't perform magic. Uh, I'm happy about that we have some of the fair. you know, playing you know, abroad, abroad and all that, which is really helping. And also yeah. having a foreign coach. But how, how much can these people do? Shola. Or these players do? Yeah, no, I'm fair, fair enough. This foundation has to be very, very... Uh, it's very important. It's very crucial. But the Falcons were well prepared for this tournament. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to take that yeah. away. Uh, from the authorities, they ensure no, the Super we're Falcons. Not talking no, preparation. We're, ready. No, we're talking no, I'm about talking, the foundation you have to lay nah, for. I'm talking about for it to grow. I'm talking about the power where uh, a lot of those players that you mentioned, the home base yeah. ones, have not been playing because yeah. the league is not on. Absolutely. Yeah, but they've been all, they've been able to play it by isn't. playing all these friendly games and, uh, and tournaments, uh, in, and all. invitationals and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I'm not saying it's the no. best. Okay, yeah. No, okay. but look, to be honest, to be honest with you, Tyre, you're right. This is arguably the best prepared. For constant in mm -hmm. recent times, right. you get. But it goes beyond that. What we're saying now is that we all knew that it was going to happen like this. Mm -hmm. Let's not lie to ourselves. True. We all knew that we would not really go far. And it's not as if these girls are not good enough. What we're saying is that to prevent this from happening in four years' time, in 2023, we need to take our sports mm. serious to to get act we together. have talent look mm. okay okay home base Olue, home base you know rashida just traveled just went, uh, look, same story that um Asisa told you is the same story that's happened to virtually all these girls you get mm. so look how many tournaments do you see that have been organized in nigeria that don't even carry women along there's so many of them mm. you know and um. there are more women in nigeria than there are men statistically you know so we need to at least help the women Governize the system, create something for them, and then push it from there. Mm. We, we need to. That's, we, that's talent in Nigeria. Shola's message is very, very clear, yeah. straight up to the point. The authorities, they need to get the act together and uh, start to uh, actually help the women's uh, game flourish. Yeah, we're still talking the World Cup this time. Let's talk about South Africa. Then a very tough matchup as well, yeah. too. Um, to be fair to Germany. South Africa against Germany, but to be fair to them, they haven't been disgraced thus far. Uh, the loss against Spain was a very, very uh, you know, encouraging performance. Uh, they played against China as well, so it was a 1-0 uh, defeat. But today, the ultimate of all the tests against Germany, uh, Desiree Ellis, and, uh, the coach, uh, is in, she's been speaking. Let's take a pre-match uh, thoughts and we'll come back and get the thoughts of Charla Rogers. Organization has been tremendous from the moment we uh, we landed in France. I think um, 
you know, the people that have been involved in organizing the hotels and the training fields has been absolutely uh, second to none. It has been amazing to training facilities that has, you know, top class facilities, fields that are in such great conditions. Uh, really treated us as professionals, uh, really treated us as uh, world-class uh, players. So it's been amazing to be in such environments. Yes, uh, listen to Desiree Ellis and also a player of South Africa ahead of tonight's uh, match uh, against uh, Germany. Shall I, what, South Africa against Germany. Obviously, it's the matchup. Uh, it's not a fair matchup, uh, let's put it that way. But with what you've seen, of the South Africans so far in this competition. Um, how much of a chance do they have tonight? Their chances are very slim, very, very slim, very slim uh, playing against a team like Germany. But uh, you know in football, uh, never say never. I like the spirit of the South African yeah. team. I've seen their games. I've seen the way they have uh, played. Like you said, not been your intro, they have not been disgraced. Mm. If they continue like this, uh, I start to fear for Nigeria because <laughs> look at how we struggled against them at the Orkhon. Mm. Uh, in uh, Ghana and, and all of that. that. One. So, having said that, I'm wishing them all the best because they're representing Africa right. and we're all Africans. We're hoping that they at least get something, you know, maybe a draw or something. Ooh, a draw. Know, maybe it, maybe. Or a, a very respectable big, scoreline. Maybe. Yeah, at least let them not be disgraced. Yeah, now I'll be satisfied with, you know, not being disgraced yeah. like they have been. Not being all, all I, feel, I feel the best they can get is a Maybe France, mm. all they have to do is just rest some of their big, tall players <laughs> and see if you can get Big, the tall players. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're going back to the France oh, thing. Oh, you actually have to go back. You're yeah, talking but, but, about Wendy Rayner, right? But seriously, seriously, if, <laughs> if, we, if we play France today and France plays its top team, it will be one way mm. you get born. But... I'm counting on the Ninja spirit and hoping that the coach gets his tactics right. Yeah. Look, Very lock important. up. Lock up. In, in some games, you know, we say that the best form of defense is attack. Mm. In this game, the best form of defense is defense. defense. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. You know? I'm talking three central uh, defenders, you know. Mm. Three. Then your so, wing back system yeah. you get. So okay. that means you have five. You know, okay. <laughs> ah, yeah, all right then. Tonight, Wish the Falcons the yeah, best. All the best. Big, Falcons are the best. Match. South Africa also all the best. Let's not disgrace Africa tonight. All right, let's leave that and talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria <laughs> against Senegal. Their last uh, warm-up game, it was ended in a loss. They lost by a long goal. Senegal, we know, number one team in Africa, so mm. not a uh, surprise one. Mm. But then it's a warm-up game. It ended one nearly. If you can see confirmation of that result. It was played behind closed doors, course, so we didn't get the so. opportunity to watch this mm -hmm. one. Uh, and there's been a lot of talk of why that's the case, but that's not the issue this morning. The uh, issue this morning is the Super Eagles of Nigeria uh, have lost uh, uh, against Senegal on the back of playing a draw against uh, Zimbabwe. And uh, the feeling out there is a lot of Nigerians are not impressed. Let me put it really? that way. It's a friendly game. Yeah, but you know how Nigerians it's against, are very impatient. It's against a <laughs> top team like Senegal. Yeah. You get, look, on paper, I think they have a better team than us. On paper, my own thoughts. I might be wrong. Fair, fair point. I might yeah. be wrong. Fair point. You know, but it's a friendly game. We should not read too much into this. Mm -hmm. okay. The lads had a good run out. The mm -hmm. best part of this result for me is that nobody got injured. Okay. You get. I'm also happy that the coach is looking at a different option oh. of goalkeeper. All right then. Yeah. Since, since let's let's have a look at the okay. uh, the starting eleven okay. for this particular match. Well, I mentioned the fact that there's a looks like there's going to be a new goalkeeper. Oh, yeah. We're going to see the starting. Uh, 11 in the beats now, and Daniel Akwey uh, for the second straight match uh, starts in that position. So it uh, looks like Shola is obviously uh, satisfied uh, with that one. And um, okay, there's Collins, there's Ekon, there's Ogu, there's Omeru, there's Ogu there's playing defense, Preston, yeah. <laughs> there's Ndidi, there's Mikel, Kalu, Iwobi, Chukweze, and Igalo. For you, scary. Yeah. I mean, what do you make of this kind Look, of line? Did you is, expect this, this one cool. against Burundi? This is a very mobile yeah. team. This is a very fast team, Absolutely. especially when you look at Iwobi and Chukweze. Yeah. You get mm. Kalu also. These are very young, fast footballers. Mm. Igalo, the poacher, the goal poacher and mm. everything. Mikel, who is going to bring a lot of stability into that team, spraying the passes, indeed covering up for him, and they're switching back and forth, yeah. which also means that when, green, when pressing forward, Ogu can join 
attack, you know. Mm -hmm. Omeru can move in with Ekong to hold uh, in the center of the park right there. Then Collins, we all know how Collins has been in a few games that he has mm -hmm. played yeah. uh, for the team. I like this uh, 11. I was hoping for a table somewhere, mm. but I don't know where they're going to put him. It's got, I'm sure there'll be space for then him Then Ogu playing must have been maybe he, the coach trying out something just, just yeah, in case. You know, yeah, it's yeah. an experiment. Mm. I know Ogu would suit us better playing as a DM, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, in, in all, this is arguably what our starting level should look like. You wanted to talk about the goalkeeping situation. To be honest with you, the reason why I want to talk about it is because... Our goalkeeper at the World Cup has not been active. Shola, can they hold your thoughts there? We need to go on our final break. When we we'll come back, we'll let Shola uh, complete his thoughts on the goalkeeping situation uh, in the Super Eagles. <laughs> 